Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be working on a WD-45. All right, so we got the reservoir filled up for the PTO. I've checked uh, the hydraulic system as well, added a little bit of hydraulic oil to that. And then I also checked the rear end cavity and everything is fine there. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna check the uh, lower um, differentials right here uh, to make sure that this flood level is good. <clears throat> I think a lot of times this is kind of missed on a routine maintenance. So just got a 12 point uh, socket here. Makes it a little bit easier to get that um, plug out of there. And it is a half inch. So I'm just gonna unscrew this. And hopefully we've got oil right here. No, we don't. So I need to add some 8090 to this. I don't fill anything in there. So I'll get some 8090 and I'll fill uh, this cavity up right here. And then I'm gonna flip around and do the same thing on the other side. So just as a general maintenance, make sure that you are checking uh, these cavities right here as well. All right, now that we got the differentials checked for oil, uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the engine oil. Uh, we got us a new uh, Wix filter, 57011 for the number. So we'll take that off in a minute, but first things first, I wanna go ahead and drain our engine oil out of here. And it's got an inch and an eighth plug on this thing. So go ahead and crack that open. See what this oil looks like. Now, last time this oil was changed was probably, I don't know, six, seven years ago, I believe, and I changed it. So, it's definitely due. Pretty black, you don't see anything in the uh, plug here, so that's good. Pretty nasty. Definitely do. There's Prince over there chilling out on the floor. I don't know what he's smelling there, but it's a pretty good dog. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and just let this drain out here. Um, while that's draining, we're gonna go ahead and remove our filter up here. Pretty straightforward process. So there shouldn't be any oil on that, but there is a little bit. <clears throat> so I've got a trash can here. I'm just going to slide it underneath there in case I start to spill some. Go ahead and take this one off. Make sure everything's good and clean. Grab our new filter. With our new ring here. Take a little bit of oil and we're gonna put on that. Make that surface a little slick there and it'll help us seal up.
All right, so I'm gonna put it on hand tight and then try to get another quarter turn out of him. Okay, filter is installed. And this tractor don't really have any way to put hours on it because we don't have an hour meter, but I will put a date before I get done. All right, looks like our engine oil is uh, drained. It's still dripping a little bit, so I'm gonna just give it some time here uh, to drip out. Go ahead and pull my dipstick out of there. Get my filler neck opened up and uh, get everything cleaned up on that. And then we'll be ready to reinstall our new oil here in just a bit. We'll get all that ready, we'll get me a funnel and then we'll uh, go ahead and put some new oil in it. All right, so I'll let everything drain out good and I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall my drain plug here on the oil pan. I'm just wiping it off at the moment, making sure that it is nice and clean. Get that tightened up. So we'll snug him up, don't over tighten it. All that'll do is cause your problems later. All right, got that squared away. Let's slide back up here on the side of the tractor. We'll go ahead and get our oil changed up here. I'm gonna be using some 10W30 in here. So, got everything closed, we're ready to go. So. You can put this in on top of the valve cover as well. Some tractors, if you don't have this filler port right here, and you need to use the valve cover uh, vent. All right, so we're all topped off here with our oil. The manual says it takes six quarts. So I have six quarts in it. All right, everything, <coughs> everything is good at this point. I am gonna go ahead and start it up. I'm gonna check my oil pressure right here and just make sure that everything comes up good. Um, and then we'll be uh, finished up here. I'll try to get you a good shot here of the oil pressure. All right, let's fire it up.
that run just in probably a minute or so, and then we'll shut it off, and then we'll check our oil level. that oil pressure a little bit higher than that. But it wasn't. All right. <clears throat> I know there's still oil that is coming down from the top side there into our crankcase and out of our filter. Didn't see any leaks around our filter. Nothing down here on the bottom. So like we're in pretty good shape. All right, one last item I about forgot about was our connecting uh, rod for that PTO shaft. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off, not the PTO shaft, the PTO box, the one that we just rebuilt. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that thing off. Got a long bolt right here. And that way I can get this out of here. I'm gonna have to take it over to the vise because it got bent up pretty good. I'm gonna take it over to the vise and straighten that up and then I'm gonna reinstall it. All right, so I got it straightened out. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. down through here, get them latched in place. I'm gonna get my bolt started. And then down here at the actual lever, I'm gonna go ahead and get my cotter key installed right here. That way I don't have to worry about this pulling out. Last step up here. Get my drill back on here. Try to hold everything where it was before. Make sure that's not in a bind. <clears throat> Get here behind the pole. Maybe want to move it just a smidgen. and loose there where we can pull up without having to worry about getting in the bar in there. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, cool. All right, next uh, step, and I guess this will kind of be our last one. We'll hop up there and fire it up. And we'll watch that PTO shaft make sure everything is working as it should so <clears throat>
bit, get that wood moved around and warmed up. And then once I shut it off here, we'll uh, let it set for a minute or two and then I'll check my fluids. Just to make sure. PTO is now back off. I'll let it set and I'm just gonna check around my seal. Make sure everything is fine there. Make sure I don't have any leaks. All right, that's going to complete the uh, PTO uh, box rebuild and reinstall and then the quick service on this WD-45 uh, wide front power steering. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, share the video and stick around. There's lots more coming up on this channel. Appreciate you watching.